Greetings, this is the instrument sidekick video for flute and clarinet in the page uh, New songs, can you figure them out? New songs, can you figure them out? So flute and clarinet, you guys both have basically the same page Different notes obviously because you have different instruments to get the same uh, pitches So we won't be talking uh, too much about that Although there is one new note for uh, for the clarinets on this So I'll have to, I have to mention that But uh, it's mostly a rhythm uh, situation uh, Once again, all about the footwork All right now, the first one is going to be easy for both of you. Shoe fly is just quarter notes and half notes. Now, what usually gets people is they've gotten used to the half note either being on the first half of the measure or the second half of the measure. Okay, so they're always thinking one, two, three, four. But now the half note is on the second beat of the measure, and that messes people up sometimes. So you have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, da. Da, ta, 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 da. So shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. All right, that speed through there. All right, so you have to tap twice for half notes and once for quarter notes. Now, the real challenge for both of you is in Polly Wally Doodle. Now, Polly Wally Doodle has eighth notes and quarter notes. And a new rhythm, dotted half notes, okay? So dotted half notes are where you add a dot after a half note. So see the little dot that comes after the half note there? That turns the half note from being a regular half note to being a dotted half note. So its name is a dotted half note. And it gets three beats. Three beats. So ta All right? So now you have three beat notes. So now you have whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, Eighth notes and dotted half notes. So you have four beat notes, three beat notes, two beat notes, one beat note, and half a beat notes. All right. So you've got all sorts of possibilities there. Um, that's easy enough to pick up, though. The real challenge is going to be the fact that your eighth notes in this song change pitches. So you know how you hit two notes for every one foot tap. T T T T T T T T. Well, up till now, you've always had the same pitch on both the first T and the second T. T T. All right. This song changes the pitch on the second T. So when your foot comes up, you have to change to a different note. And then when your foot comes back down for the quarter note, you have to change to a different note. So for flutes, you have B B flat C D, B flat C D, B C D. B flat C D T D ta. All right, in clarinets, you start off same situation, but you have C D E, C D E, down up down. So C when your foot comes down, D when your foot comes up, E when your foot comes down again. C D E and flute B flat C. I'm sorry, B flat C D. All right, so you gotta get used to that, and that is the real challenge. All right, and in clarinets, you have a new note down here. A low B. A low B's fingerings. All laid out down here. It explains it. Make sure you read that. Thumb one, two, three, and five. All right. And it says this is low B. The fingering is T, one, two, three, five. Make sure to use your second finger for the fifth hole and keep your first finger up over the fourth hole. So here's what I mean for that, clarinets. Okay. Thumb, one, two, three, five. Now... I get a lot of students that move their first finger down and cover the middle hole, which will get the right sound, but you want to use your middle finger here and keep your fourth finger over the fourth hole, okay? You want it over there because this is a note too, and this is a note too, and we don't want you to have to constantly be moving your hand, shuffling your hand around. We want your hand to stay all in the same spot. So your fingers just need to go down and up, down and up, okay? So you're just bringing your second finger on your right hand down to be the fifth hole. You're bringing that one down, keeping this one over here in case you need it, okay? So this song is, I'm sorry, this note is B. Okay, so low B, all right? And the same is true with uh, a flute. Flute, you have to uh, always worry about keeping your hand in this position 
And I get a lot of students that want to slide their fingers over. So let's say they need to play a D. Uh, and instead of having just their first finger and pinky up, they'll slide over and use two fingers here. And, uh, because they don't need the first finger there. Don't do that. No shuffling because you're not going to be able to handle really fast notes. You're not going to be able to do things like that if you're also shuffling your hand all around. You won't be able to play quick uh, phrases. Okay? So, uh, I'm going to play uh, the flute version of both these songs, clarinet version of all these songs, and then I'm going to put this down so you can see my footwork uh, for all these songs as well. So this way you can see them played, and you can uh, see the footwork. And so mark this spot uh, on your... It's about six minutes in. Feel free to uh, play along with the flute version and the clarinet version uh, on your instrument. It'll sound correct on both. That's why I'm making a video with both of you uh, together. All right. So first, flutes. This is your version without being able to see my foot, although my foot is still doing it, okay? So here we go. Shoe fly. One, two, ready, in. And then here is Polly Wally Doodle. Once again, don't forget, it goes down, up, down. So different note from down to up to down, all right? So that'll be the real the one that you really want to see my footwork uh, for that one. But for now, I'll play it so you can see how it's played. Polly Wally Doodle, one and two, ready, and... same so feel free to play along here's shoe fly one two ready in Put it down so you can see the footwork. You will want to see that. This is what all these songs are all about. It's all about the footwork. Okay. So, bringing this over. Alrighty. So, first, the flute version. Alright, you can see my foot there. Alright. Here we go. Uh, I'll use is that one more visible. I think it was more visible. Here we go. Shoe fly ready and. See how you have to go. Don't go. Don't do that. It's down, up, down. All right. Then the same is true for the clarinets. So switch over to the clarinet music. And here we go. Clarinet. One, two. Oh, so shoe fly first. One, two. Ready, in. Alright, 
and then Polly Wally Doodle. Down, up, down, ready, in. <laughs> All right, so good luck, you know, so you're learning new songs and how to play them by reading them correctly from the start without needing to have seen uh, anything written out for you ahead of time. All right, so that should be fun. Um, the real challenge, that down, up, down thing, you know, changing notes when you're uh, in the middle of eighth notes. Okay, so patience with that. But it's worth the practice, all right? So keep still doing Hot Cross Buns, Merry Little Lamb, Claire de la Lune, uh, Jingle Bells, Good King Wenceslas, Dreidel, Dreidel. Still keep doing Bile Them Cabbage Down with proper foot tapping. Um, but if you've passed uh, your Rhythm and Foot Test and the uh, Old Songs page, you don't have to keep doing them if I've already uh, given you the okay on that. Um, and you can start practicing this page, uh, playing both Shoe Fly and Polly Wally Doodle. Um, so have fun, and may the Force be with you.